Could you speak again about decisions, the big responsibility, the the character feels in creating its life? So the truth is, is that every action is simply happening. Like the tree now is blooming, the character is speaking, the character is doing or acting. The illusion comes with, I am acting. So it's like the tree saying, I am growing, I am blooming. But because we've got these voices in our head, like something interesting has been happening recently in my body. So as I age, um, I, I now begin to experience weather differently. I don't know if it will go back to the way it was. And because I've lived in cold countries the majority of my life, um, I now experience sometimes hot flashes or getting hotter. You know, like I, my body temperature is hotter and with the hot flashes what's really interesting is that I know prior to them coming so it's so it's so funny I don't know if other women get get that like it's not like I begin to feel the tingling of them it's like a good before any sensation of them start I know one's going to start so really funny thing and so like what I'm pointing to is that our thoughts and our narration about situations aren't accurately timed so it's like the the body is beginning to go into the mode of a hot flash is that what we call them? A warm flash, a hot flash, or beginning to heat up. Um, and sometimes it just happens because the sun is, you know, my body's just more hotter. The sun comes in through the window and it's just more of a hotter body now. And, um, and, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so, it's just quite like our, our, you know, our thoughts aren't in line with the series of actions. But, but the way the thoughts are presented, it's like as if they are. So in that moment, it's almost like by that narrator happening, you know, that's like telling me, thought is telling me that a hot flash is just is going to happen. Um. You know, it could look like that person is choosing to do it. But if we look physiologically, we know that that's not happening. It's just for some reason, rather than it narrating after it happens, it's narrating before it happens. It's just some bizarre thing that's happening. I don't know why. So what happens in your choice making? So if the thought comes up, prior to you wanting to make a tea, I want to make a tea, and then the body gets up and makes the tea. But in a way, it's happening in the same way as the hot flash. So it's not really me choosing to have a hot flash. There is the thought that arises and then the hot flash happens. But we know that I'm not choosing. I mean, some people might existentially say I am choosing, like the thoughts are choosing everything, but that's a whole different subject. But it's it's like we know that there's no control over that. I can't I can't stop the body doing a hot flash. Seemingly, some people really far in spirituality might say I could do a breathing exercise to stop it. But just if we just take it that the body is having a chemical reaction which is creating an overheating in the body because there's a dip in hormones because the body is aging, blah, 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 you know. So there's like a physiological thing that's happening, which is creating the body to heat up. And the thought comes, you there is going to be a hot flash. 
and the hot flash happens there's a physiological response that happens so the thought that comes is i want a cup of tea and then the body moves and gets a cup of tea and there is a belief that i want a cup of tea that thought is creating the movement to have the cup of tea but more than likely the movement to get a cup of tea is already decided like the movement for my body to have a hot flash is already decided and then the thought comes up i want to have a cup of tea as if somebody is creating the i want to have a cup of tea but really the thought is coming after the momentum you understand the analogy don't know if i've said it correctly so it's so fascinating like there's such a strong belief in this i want to make a cup of tea and i am going to choose it and the reason that happens is survival because with this mechanism and this belief in you doing um there is an ability to update the information box and have a particular human experience when I say the information box, it's like through having this I narrative, it, the I narrative can be used to change and update the um, responses, the conditions, the habits and the conditions of the body. Yeah. It's fascinating. Eh? So maybe if you go really deep into your experience, you can begin to catch these things out. So prior to any feeling of needing to go to the toilet, there is a thought that comes up and says, you're going to need the toilet in so-and-so minutes. You know, it sort of debunks what we believe choice-making to be. And you have no sense of needing the toilet. And then the sense of the toilet comes on. You could also have it with the doorbell. The doorbell is going to ring soon. And then the doorbell rings. You know, all these things contradict what we think we know about the functioning of this life. But when you believe you are that thinker, the one that says, you know, you're going to have the hot flush, when that believes to be you and the experiencer of this life, then it exacerbates thinking patterns, especially this idea of doership. And this is what Roger and Ramesh called hatred. This doer. This belief that that thought is the doer. Whereas that thought is a reaction of immense chemical reactions that are way beyond this I doing. What a phenomenal experience it is to be alive. Mind boggling so your question in every moment is who's doing who am i who is doing and notice throughout the day how many times actions happening without you telling yourself to do it and then the mind just bleeps over that it's like beep beep it just picked up its glasses without instruction it just picked up its drink without instructions like beep 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 ignore it raise raise and then it focuses on the times like oh i fancy a cup of tea now 